Hello! You are watching the third in a series of five short videos which demonstrate how quickly and easily secure single sign-on for users of SAP GUI can be achieved. Taking advantage of an existing Active Directory infrastructure for both authentication and encryption key management. We are going to change the SAP instance profile so that SNC is enabled. The SAP system ID is N1A, so I am logged on to the N1AADM user. First, I need to check that the Kerberos key table can be accessed from the N1AADM user. This is important because the key table was created whilst logged on to root. Next, I need to stop SAP so that I can change the instance profile. When SAP is stopped, to make this demonstration simpler, I will change the instance profile using an operating system text file editor. Normally, transaction RZ10 would be used. After the instance profile has been changed, I can start SAP and then check if the SAP work processes have initialized SNC for both accepting incoming secure communications and for initiating outbound secure communications. I can now edit the instance profile to include the SNC related parameters. These parameters are documented in the CyberSafe Trustbroker Secure Client documentation and also in the SAP SNC Users Guide. When SAP is started, the updated instance profile parameters are used. Whilst we are waiting for SAP to start, let me use this opportunity to remind you that you can visit our website www.cybersafe.com where you will find many more videos that explain the technical details of the CyberSafe products and solutions and demonstrate their features as experienced by the end user. The video library is constantly being updated so we suggest you subscribe to the video content or check regularly for any new videos that have been uploaded. Now that SAP has started, I will use grep to check one of the work process logs. If either accepting or initiating initialization fails for some reason, then the work processes won't be usable, so it is important to check this before you try to log on to SAP. As you can see, there are no errors and SNC is enabled. If you see any errors in this output, you need to fix them and then restart SAP before you continue. That concludes the demonstration. Please watch the next video in this series to see how to install the Trustbroker Secure Client for Workstations product on a Windows 7 workstation, and how to use it to log on to the SAP system. Thank you for watching.